And we know you folks at home have so many concerns with these patients coming to the Atlanta metro area, coming to Emory uh, for their treatment. So that's why we bring in uh, Dr. Daria Gillespie, Emory University Department of Emergency Medicine. Great to have you here. Thanks Thank so you. much. Um, Pleasure to be here. The, the first question really here uh, on this, you know, we've got the doctor, right? Mm -hmm. His job is the same as the doctor's at Emory, treating people who have this. Yes. Yet he got it himself. Mm -hmm. He knew the risks. He knew how to, uh, the precautions. How did this happen? How did he get it? Well, Vinny, I don't think he even knows exactly how he got it. But you have to remember, the situation is very different from here. How? He was How's living, it different? He was living within an Ebola outbreak community. So even though he has great protection when he may be in the hospital, and if it was great protection, it's much less than we have here, he would take off the protection and go walk in the community, go to the market where he's in contact with people who either have Ebola or are living, have someone at home living with him I'm that has it. I'm glad you clarified that. So you're, you're, what you're saying is he could have gotten this not in the treatment of patients, mm -hmm where you take the precautions, but just by living there. Just Important as easily, Important distinction. Yes. Okay, now a lot of folks have questions, and you've been tweeting them to us, sending them on Facebook. Uh, Julie Wolf has been monitoring all that. Julie, you have a question here for the doctor from the folks? We do. We asked our viewers what they wanted us to dig into this morning, and Jamie asked, I can't stop thinking about the hot zone whenever this comes up. So obviously some of the procedures in place. So this morning, what is happening right now at Emory? So there are many procedures going on right now at Emory to protect, uh, to take care of the patient, to take, to protect the physicians, other patients, and the community uh, in, in Atlanta and the greater world. And that includes what they have is a special unit that's actually built for diseases that are even more contagious than Ebola. So it's protective against even aerosolized diseases as well. So the physicians are using and the nurses are using full HEPA filters. So not just masks like we saw on the uniform that he was wearing, actually a motorized filter. So they're not even breathing the same air as the patients. And that room is entirely enclosed. They evacuate the air every 12 times an hour and filter it so that air is not even going into the general public. And there we're taking a look at the room mm -hmm. itself. Hey, doctor, here's a question I have, and, and, and I've had discussions with people about this. It seems he's getting great care at Emory. We've had reports that he's doing well. If he gets well enough to be released, mm -hmm. is he still contagious? Does he carry that with him the rest of his life? Well, for one, they are going to keep him quarantined and isolated for well after his symptoms have resolved. And he will not be let, allowed to go into the public. And he would not do that until they are for certain that he is no longer contagious. And, that's one and that can happen with Ebola. Because is there a point where he wouldn't be contagious if everything goes very well? If he's one of the fortunate numbers that actually are able to survive Ebola, then yes, that is potential. But, you know, in the past, we've seen 80% mortality. So we're hoping to reverse that by having him here at Emory. Absolutely. Getting great care. Julie, any more questions? Yes. One that came unto us through email, but when we tweeted, we would ask you a lot of traction on this one. Christine emailed us, what happens to waste from the Ebola patient? Will it be flushed into the Atlanta sewer system? So for one, no. His, you know, waste from any patient at Emory is treated very differently from you know, general waste from someone's home. And the waste from this special unit has very special procedures in place, including incineration for some products, and to really make sure that that is not released into the public. All right, doctor, we appreciate you coming in. And we appreciate the job that you're doing. I mean, you guys are, are heroes in, in what you're doing to try to save lives here. And we do appreciate that. Thank you.